So this is going to be a video that I'm going to do in response to the Commune of Anarchy's official statement um, that was released by Jason and uh, by Luke Dublin um, at the request of Anarcho-Syndicalist Boy. Um, and this will largely be a response towards the anarcho-syndicalist boy. Um, first of all, um, while I do not agree with Dr. Weisfeld's decision to endorse the Party of Communists USA, I do not think that Jason or Nett or Luke or anyone have agreed with said decision either. The PCUSA is a reactionary group that has a history of sex scandals and questionable ties to the LaRouchian movements, such as the Center for Political Innovation, or CPI, led by Caleb Moffat. His decision to support China is regrettable, but not one that seems crucifiable by any means. And to my knowledge, you know, it's, I don't think, like, I understand that the convergence supposedly is against that, but, you know, again, I don't, I think that Weisfeld does live up to quite a lot of other revolutionary ideals. So I don't understand the reason for this criticism, you know, or not even criticism. I can understand certain criticisms, but I can't understand what I, I can't understand the level to which they have gone in essentially trying to overthrow him. I disagree with the premise that Jason Unruh or Nett are politically untrustworthy, as they put it, and denounce those who make such a notion. If one cares to challenge my integrity or my trustworthiness themselves by proving me wrong and showing me that they are untrustworthy in some way, please share it with the class. I disagree with the notion that Net is a patsy or somehow a puppet master. He is not. These are criticism. There are criticisms that has, that Net has said he could make about himself, and I agree with him. I agree that Net is probably worthy of of quite a few criticisms, but who, what, what leftist isn't? While I don't agree with Ned on a lot of things, there are and there are criticisms that I could make about him, I genuinely find him to be a pretty nice guy and one that I can work with. Red Pagan Corner and the Red Pagan Network has never been shy about speaking its mind, and it has never pretended to be an echo chamber. That is why I wish to strengthen this network by including the ideas of several leftist individuals from DeMarcus to Hosius and Titoists Malice and Stalinists and Marxist-Leninists, Marxist exactly what the United International Intercommunal Convergence has sought and seeks to do, and what the Maoist Rebel News has sought to do. Yes, I can make the criticism that the Convergence has been lackluster, but a lot of that has more to do with the lack of participation due to everyday life, such as jobs, school, personal relationships, mental health, etc., it is not necessarily the fault of Weisfeld, Nett, Jason, or Luke. I'd also like to denounce the notion that Nett indoctrinated anybody. The particular word was groomed, but I particularly would like to use the word indoctrinated because the word groom is usually associated with something else, and I think it's thrown around a little too liberally. He has not. I denounce the notion that he has indoctrinated anyone, or that he's ever tried to, or that he ever has tried to indoctrinate anyone, or that he's somehow been a puppet master, or that he's, you know, been trying to, uh, that he's essentially been trying to manipulate people. 
I denounce the notion that Net's work has been pathetic, as described by, by anarcho-syndicalist boy. I think that Net has done a lot more than these anarcho kitties have given him credit for, and I believe he can continue to be a credit to the convergence, to Red Pagan Network, and to the Bundist movement. While I believe Dark Snowview would be a good chairman for the convergence, I do not think it is fair to throw Dr. Abraham Weisfeld under the bus like they are trying to do. If Dark Snowview wants the position, that is up to him. But I do not think it's fair for these individuals to attempt a coup of the convergence of, uh, sorry, to attempt a coup of the Convergence leadership by forcing leadership onto Dark Zenobia's shoulders in hopes that he will do their bidding. I may be new to the Convergence, having only joined in May of 2023, and real-life issues have made it difficult for me to be as active as I've wanted to. While this is regrettable, I am now in a position where I feel I can take a more active role in the Convergence and other activities, including the formalized organization of the Red Pagan Network as a cohesive left-wing news source, one that several individuals, including Ned and Jordan, have expressed interest in contributing to from time to time. I'd also like to add that I was never consulted about a vote as a member of said convergence to expel Dr. Weisfeld from the leadership, and I denounce such an action by the so-called members of the convergence and will continue to recognize Weisfeld as the true legitimate chairman and leader of the Convergence until a legitimate vote of all members of the Convergence has been conducted. I denounce the criticisms that have been made by an arco-syndicalist boy about Jason as they are baseless and irrelevant. While Jason and I don't agree on everything and both of us have and probably still are worthy of some certain criticisms, we all have our flaws, and he is a respectable comrade who does respectable work, and I consider him to be a true friend, revolutionary, and very politically trustworthy. I would also like to say that I, that the same could be said to Dark Zenobia, and to Net, and to Sovetnik, to Kara Stokely, to Luke Dublin, to the Falcone General. I believe everyone, and to Dr. Weisfeld, all of you are respectable comrades who do respectable work. And I believe that you are politically trustworthy. But this division needs to stop. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time. Super sweet,